Hi guys, Marley Couples here from Flagship International. It's an absolute honour and pleasure to present to the Australian market this stunning Azura 50 Anna. Let's have a look on board. Working from the back of the boat, we've got a, a timberline transom. The craftsmanship's immediately evident from the step, second you step on board. There is a, a tender and a snap davit system, which we've left back at the marina today, but that's nice and handy to be able to get to shore. A transom door, everything's felt lined. It's just incredible. The attention to detail is, is something you'd only see out of the Azura yard. So just the styling on board, like it's it's a true gentleman's cruiser, but it's also ultra modern. So it's had a, it's had a refit, but the you know the hidden hidden timeless aspects. So you know the, the big flare on the bow and then this beveled stern, combined with all this amazing craftsmanship, makes it look like a really traditional old school gentleman's down easter. But then when you start crawling through, you'll see that it's actually fitted with all the mod cons. Forward, there's a slight step up and this creates this amazing sort of mezzanine that looks down onto that aft cockpit. So we've got this, this beautiful seating area, obviously for playing cards with the kids or, or having a seafood platter with, with friends and family. This boat is just so usable. So we've got your, your couple of helm seats forward, then your, your seating area, but that spills mezzanine over to the aft deck, which you could easily see you know, five or six adults hanging out and enjoying what Sydney Harbour has to offer. So everything is sort of hidden and, and behind this beautiful cabinetry, but then open it up and you've got all your modern electronics, AC, DC, your Victron inverter, your generator operation, your battery switches, all in there, hidden in this beautiful cupboard. So then moving forward, starboard side, we've got this sort of wet bar. Look at this, this timber finish is fantastic. Here we've got a, a wine fridge under the sink here. It's just so well done, but everything's just subtle and, and really, really classy. So now we're forward to the dining area. We've got these the, the helm to starboard, and then we've got a co-pilot seat. So you could get could get two in each of these, but it's just a really social boat. Amazing wraparound windows. And as you've seen when we're underway, she's just an absolute glamour to be to operate. She's powered by six LPA Yenmars twins. Um, bow and stern thrusters, side power. You'd never know how modern she is. Obviously, electronic controls, a Raymarine hybrid touch with, with all your, the right gear on it, VHF, and then just nice, simple gauges. So that, the driving position here is just phenomenal. You, you sat, sat here commanding a 50-foot gentleman's cruiser, but your visibility down your starboard side, right up to the bow, there's, you know, there's no bow rail. You can just see your flare. Look over those, those butterfly hatches really really good visibility aft and just a really comfortable operating position a beautiful feature about this boat is that it looks simple it looks elegant but everything's just really well hidden so here we lift that up we've got our ignitions engine controls an autopilot and your thruster controls but then pop it away and and it just declutters the whole helm area so under this seating area we've got on a day like today it's beautiful to be under the sun but this does close up and then you're, you're nice and protected and out of the elements. We've got wraparound covers if you need them, but she's just a, a perfect all weather vessel. Perfect for Sydney Harbour, pit water cruising. So the more time you spend on board, Anna, you realise that the quality of the craftsmanship and the attention to detail is, is absolutely phenomenal. So here we've got some, some nice felt lining. It actually took us a little bit to figure this out, but now we've, we've got it, it's absolutely ingenious. So we put a little bit of pressure on that one. We drop this down. Companionway door comes up, and then close the hatch. So access to the bow, we've just got one a stainless grab rail on the, the aft there of the, the hard top, and then we've got these beautifully varnished hand, hand grab rails the whole way up. Nice teak lined, stainless air vents. It's just so, so impressive. And looking aft over this hard top, it's just, the, the quality and, and the thought in the design truly becomes evident. Obviously, we've got a fully varnished mast headlight, uh, a nice traditional spotlight that's controlled from underneath. But if you have a look down that line, the, we've got the opening sunroof aft, 
but there's a, a little sort of wind, wind spoiler there forward. Like it's those little things that make a big difference to the operation of the boat. So, I mean, this is where the, the sun baking happens. Beautiful hang space, these really, really nice teak decks. No bow rail, which just keeps that class and style to the boat. Then we've got a couple of sun lounges here, port and starboard, which are adjustable to pop up. We've got a, a chain locker with a remote to the Muir winch. Look at this, every link is stainless. You know, the, the quality of, of everything on board is second to none. So we've got, this is aft, aft hatch, nice easy access to the, the steering system. There's also access to your, your stern thruster motor a little bit further forward, but you know, have a look at the condition, it's just incredible. It's a true credit to all of her owners. So engine access, so gas assisted struts, we've got a generator, the two 6L PA Yenmars which have all been removed, overhauled and put back in. Everything's been completely refit. So as soon as you come down the companionway stairs, you know, typical Azura, it's completely lined, fully varnished timber. Opposite the head to the starboard side is your guest accommodation. Got a privacy door, up and down single bunks, a little bit of storage there, a nice hanging locker. Again, just really good space for guests. It's amazing how much natural light flows from these butterfly hatches, as well as obviously some really nice breeze. We've got the galley to port, settee to starboard, L lounge to port, and then moving forward from, from the saloon area is access to the master cabin. The whole time you're on the boat, you, you just can't comprehend the, the quality of the craftsmanship. Look, look at this highly varnished teak and holly flooring, and that's throughout the whole boat. So in, in terms of operations, it's a bit of a nor'easter blowing here on Sydney Harbour. We're doing about seven knots and doing about 1400 RPM. And then we'll slowly start bringing in up. So that's about 2200 RPM. And we're getting about 11, we'll probably come up to 11 and a half knots, which seems to be where if you, know, if you don't want to be planing, it would be a really comfortable sort of harbour cruise sort of pace. So yeah, 2200 and, and 11 and a half knots. So now we're up to 3000 RPM. It'll probably end up giving us around 16 knots. We're just starting to plane, but you know, we're, we're, the, the bow's riding nice and high, which means we're throwing any, any ferry wash and anything comes at us, it's just getting thrown so far out because of that big flare and, and that hull design. Bring up to three and a half thousand. Now we really start to plane, the bow's coming down a little bit. We're, we're doing about 18 and a half knots at three and a half thousand RPM. And that's where it feels comfortable that the, 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 it's riding really well, the bow's at the right position. We're, we're throwing that wash out, but we're still covering some ground and still running pretty economically. And then we'll, we'll open her up. So now we're just pushing 3,800 RPM, we're, we're getting 21 to 22 knots, 20, 21, so that's wide open throttle. It loves being here, but I think 18, 1,800 is probably a little bit more economical and, and a bit, uh, 18 knots, sorry, a bit more economical and, and probably where the boat likes to sit. But it's nice to know that if, if you wanted to, you'd be cruising around at 20 knots. So unbelievable hull perfect styling and perfect, perfect harbour. You've got ferry wash, you've got different wind conditions. The boat's been dry all day. We've probably got a 15 to 17 knot nor'easter. We haven't got a single bit of salt on the windscreen, which is obviously a good sign on Sydney Harbour. Thanks for taking the time to have a look on board Anna, the Azura 50. She was built in 2001, but she's been lovingly restored. My name is Marley Cutbush from Flagship International. I look forward to hearing from you.